These are nerve injuries you can get from lithotomy positioning. This is a position frequently used in many surgeries and procedures as shown up here. The first listed is when you have hip flexion and inguinal ligament compression, which can compress the femoral nerve. So remember that the femoral nerve is in the front of your leg here. So if you are flexing very uh, tightly here, that inguinal ligament, which is kind of in your groin area, can compress this femoral nerve. This can lead to femoral nerve damage and have impaired hip flexion and knee extension. Another injury is hip flexion and stretch at the obturator foramen. So again, your hip is flexed, you're pulling on that nerve, the obturator nerve through the obturator foramen, and you can have impaired hip adduction. Next is hip flexion greater than 90 degrees. So this is the angle they're referring to with hip flexion. If that's greater than 90 degrees, you're in a high lithotomy position, you can have sciatic nerve injury. This leads to impaired knee flexion and leg foot movement. So remember your sciatic nerve runs along the back of your leg. It's the larger nerve in your lower extremity. The more common nerve injury in the lithotomy position is compression at the fibular head, leading to a common peroneal nerve. So again, let's emphasize it here. If you have pressure on this side, the lateral side of the leg, that can lead to a common peroneal nerve injury. The common peroneal nerve is a branch of the sciatic and it comes very superficial around this area here. And if you have compression there, that's how you can get a common peroneal nerve injury. It'll manifest as foot drop and impaired foot eversion. Uh, one more nerve injury, compression against the medial tibial condyle can lead to compression of the saphenous nerve. The saphenous nerve is a branch of the femoral nerve. We can see it here um, coming off of the femoral nerve. And if you have compression where the saphenous nerve is very superficial, you can have sensory issues of the medial lower leg, which would be this area down here. Fortunately, these injuries have become less common due to better awareness and padding techniques.